All right. Test drive time, 1971 Chevy Nova. This one's got the 350 under the hood. It's also got power steering. Looks like AC compressor is hooked up. Uh, yeah, running all the way around there. We'll check everything out and see what's going on with this one. 350, uh, no power brakes. Does have disc brakes in the front though. It also has American racing wheels, drum in the rear, dual exhaust. She sounds pretty good, the paint looks decent. Interior is decent. Hunter detail pictures, financing and shipping is available. Go to maplemotors.com. Please hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. You know, the interior is not too bad, but this carpet is older. I think this carpet's got to go. Literally, the only thing that's left on the other than uh, these headrests, everything else is nice. So, your door panels are nice, your seats are nice package tray it could be you know something laid over top of it it's got some paint chips so headrest package tray carpet headliner is a different color but it doesn't look bad you need a cap for your light there mirror looks older steering wheel looks good column there's got some chips and stuff dash your vents missing the knob on your lights Showing two, 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 seven, two on the miles. Dash. Need a lock for your glove box. You got some, uh, looks like somebody painted it. On the dash there, you can kind of see the orange peel. Start her up. Starts up easy. Lower motor does work. What about AC? Max AC. We'll give her a second. I don't think it's working though. Wipers. Yeah. Radio. You buy us battery kit and choose from. Man, that's, radio sounds good. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Turn signals do. Gas gauge does. AC. No, it's not. Blower's doing its job though. Horn. I almost said that one worked, guys. It's time. Let's see how it drives. All right, guys, let's head on out. Try reverse. Now this is the first time that I've driven this ride here, so we're gonna get to know it together. I can tell you right now, this is gonna take a while. I'll be right back. All right, let's go. Yeah, that girl would not go right. You can go right on red. So I wanna try to go around her and she floored it. <laughs> But we're heading on out now. Speedo is coming up. Seems to be correct on the dash there. As I'm going down the road. A little bit of a right pull, as you can see. Uh, getting in the throttle there. Kickdown's not hooked up. Already seen that under the dash. Getting in the brakes. The brakes feel good. It ain't bad at all. We are cruising. Speedometer's way off. It thinks we're going 65. We're definitely not. We're going about 50. Right now, yeah, it's about 10, 15 mile an hour off.
course, we'll get outside shots. We'll light up the undercarriage when we're picking out the flaws. So stick around to the end if you want to know everything about this ride here. Be sure to check the description for more information. I will be right back. Guys, I gotta tell you about this product I just installed in my 68 Camaro. So this is a base knob addition that you can add, upload pictures, you got a voltmeter, and it connects straight to your phone. No base, no problem. Pick one up below. And last night I installed one in my 2016 Silverado. As you can see, pull up a QR code, scan with your phone, connect your phone right to it. Multiple clock faces that you can use if you don't want to upload a picture. But I like uploading pictures, so I put, you know, Maple Motors there. You can also push up on it, it goes to the Rolex face, push left on it, it goes to an amp meter. It's one of the best bass knobs on the market and it comes in all these designs. Pick one up in the link below. Okay guys, heading on out. Heading on back to the lot now. seems to run and drive pretty good it's got plenty of pep the steering on it's tight too as soon as I turn it turns 
The kick down cable is not hooked up. I've seen it laying there on the intake stuff. And again, the Speedo is working. It just seems a little bit fast on the read out there. I know today, it is Friday right now. I'm doing these videos ahead of time for the update. Uh, man, there was a lot of people on the lot. <laughs> I tried to greet a few people before I left, but I think instead of doing videos, I could have sat at the lot all day long and talked to people. But then you wouldn't have these videos, so this is basically my job here to work on these cars make sure they're ready and then take them for a ride and show you what's wrong what I find is how it'll arrive at your house a little bump in the road up here give her a listen not too bad um, basically it just felt it felt tight but you could hear it a little bit in the front end but it's still good, so. Sometimes you go over those bumps back there and you, you don't even hear it. We are pulling back into Maple Motors. Looks like things have calmed down a little bit. Well, other than us, we're out here working. <laughs> Picking out the flaws, it's coming up next. Be sure to stick around for that. I'll see you later. Let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Coming up on the front end. Front bumper's got some scuffs, some dings. A little bit of pitting up top. Dings around your trim on the edge. A little hazy on the headlights. Grill there looks good. tires, decent shape up and over the fender well. Door is kind of sagging there. Yeah, definitely needs to be adjusted. You can kind of see it's out. You can actually see a little bit of a gap there. The light. And it's falling in. Little spots there. Up and over. paint imperfections you see how it's kind of thick there that spot coming back spot there A little water up top touch up mark on the side chip here pitting Little overspray there. See, it looks good around the vent window, hazy. Get up over the roof. In your jams, you got a couple of little bubbles here on your drip rail. Roof looks okay. Scuff. Back window, pretty clean. down the back a 
pitting on your rear bumper. You've got some chips in your jam. Probably had some surface rust going on down there, uh, and that's why it looks like it's been primered. You see some rust bubbling up. Most of it in this trunk looks pretty good. Uh, even most of this looks pretty good. But you do got some little bubbles and stuff popping up. Uh, it doesn't seem to be eat all the way through is what I'm saying. It's more like this, like paint bubbling up. A little bit starting there. Package trays clean as well. Keep it down with the truck lid. Over on this side, lower portion. Touch up, Mark. Hanging a little bit on that door. Mid section, scuff up top, scratch on the side, crack in the paint there. Touch up mark, crack here by the lock. scuffs around the edge of that back window. It's like they used the buffer and hit. Now I'm filling your screen so you can see anything like basically these cracks in the seal, little cracks here on the rubber around the trim. I'm just saying that because I know some people who be like, you didn't point it out, but I filled your screen and you saw it. So it means you've seen it. You know about it. Sometimes I'll do that. I've done so, so, so many test drives. I like to fill the screen with the issues that I'm catching here. And of course, you could definitely point them out if you want, but I know I've seen them. There's a chip right here in the middle of your windshield. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's silicone. Let's go ahead and open her up on the inside. Check it out. Got a screw that's not supposed to be there, but it's holding it up. So. I don't know about y'all, that truck in the background sounds horrible. <laughs> sounds like uh, balloons flopping around in the exhaust. No. <laughs> I 
Carpet needs to be replaced. I mean, it's faded. It's got dye on it, but it's just not not up to par. Uh, but that being said, the headliner's in decent shape. Different color, but de decent shape. Visors match. Headrest has got some spots that need to be re -dyed. The seats look okay, though. The seats are clean. I think you can get away with no problem getting away with this. You got a little stitch in here that broke. But yeah, the seats look good. Panels look good. Package tray. Um, it's got some paint spots kind of coming up that could always be recovered. Looks like in the back here, hey, look, real close. Got a little crusty crust on the edge there on this back panel. But I can't tell if it's dirt or not. It kind of looks like dirt because I don't see any rust. I think it is. I think it's just dirt. It does look like it. Yeah, let me get out of the back seat. So I crawled back here. Sorry. <laughs> Front seat, I'm telling you, it's nice and clean. Almost looks like it's been redone. The headrest here is has not been rewrapped, but yeah, that's new material. That's older. That's why. Call them here. Told they had a tack up there at one time. Dash. You see, they painted this, and they need a lock for the glove box. Right now, somebody zip tied it up. Keep it up realistic <laughs> pedals look a little worn out on the brakes you're missing your knob for your lights pitting the vent window Come off, be replaced. Battery tray's a little weak there. Well, coming on down, you got some dents right here in the edge of your hood. Hood is a little stiff, but not enough to where I have to use two hands. All right, guys, thank you for sticking around. Please hit subscribe and share this video. 100 detailed pictures, financing. There's financing options, guys. Don't We don't have in-house financing, but there's financing options on our website. JJ Best is one of the best ones. It's companies you could choose from, so go there, check it out. Uh, and 100 detailed pictures of every car on the lot. Again, we update on Mondays around noon with new inventory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.